gentlemen, this is a ballistic gel torso, a one-to-one -one replica of a real torso. And today we're gonna use it in conjunction with a M134D minigun. Any last words? He's a strong silent type. You got strong shoulders, dude. It's a little uncanny. It's a little like the serial killer thoughts start creeping in. All right, let's blow this thing apart. Oh. I know you're on the toilet and you're watching this, drinking your coffee, eating your beer, whatever you may be getting yourself into. I have a minigun and we're gonna do a great YouTube video. But before we do, make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Your comments are a sacrifice the algorithm God. This is a high-speed Phantom camera. This is Colton, it's Wave Colton. Colton's gonna be operating our high-speed camera to see what happens to the human jail torso when fired upon by the minigun. And this is the M134D minigun. Now this is Justin. Justin's a high-speed cool guy that's really good with the minigun, right? Yep. Now, the problem is, is that the target is how many yards away? It's about 100 meters, it's not that far. It's far to me because I've never shot a minigun before, but Justin has, so he's our pro. And he's gonna take the first shot at the ballistic torso so we don't mess this up because, well, the torso is expensive, I'm being honest. You ready to rock and roll? Ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Justin, you did so it, man. Decimated. How's it feel to be the angel of death, dude? Not right. a bad job. Honorary uh, post hunt dibs. You get the first bite. I think liver is supposed to be good for you, liver's right? Supposed, yeah, you want the liver? Yeah, let's yeah, try that. Here, let's try some of the liver. Here. Uh, yeah. Hey, that's his liver. Does it smell like jello? I don't think it's healthy. <sighs> well, here's the, the front of his face, or the front of his skull, I think. Yeah, 3,000 rounds a minute is not good to stand in front of. No, no, it is not. That thing is wrapped. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's carnage. That's like nightmare fuel. <laughs> that's terrifying. Oh, I knew, we knew he was gonna go down immediately. Yeah. That that 760 by 51 puts out enough kinetic energy from 100 meters away, it's just gonna knock you yeah, down. it's gonna smoke, yeah. Honestly, it's reminds me of Tropic Thunder, dude. Where you, <laughs> dude, it's just corn syrup, dude. <laughs> Is it, is it too dark to use the remains of the last dummy to help with the counterbalance of the next dummy? Is that too like dark and just uh, nefarious? What's better than this? Just a bunch of guys being dudes. Round two, fight. Wow, okay, so shooting the minigun, it feels like the power of God is in your hands. And as cheesy as it sounds, it's definitely an experience, man. That is a that is an out-of-body experience, watching that much lead go down range and the power you have. It almost like doesn't feel real. It does feel like that that video game aspect, which also sounds, yeah, I know, very nerdy. Nerd! I did not do great, dude. I definitely decapitated him, but I did not I did not eviscerate him. Killed his head? Yeah. Hello, Clarice. All right, so clearly not as good as Justin. I definitely missed the majority of the torso. Have mercy on me. It's my first time shooting the thing, but I did get his face. So <laughs> I don't feel so good. <laughs> but we're gonna do. Uh, we'll finish this guy off real quick. We uh, the stand got destroyed, sadly, but we'll make it happen. All right, is second time the charm to see the results? The administrative results? I right, unsubscribe. You're not allowed to watch this channel. Let's check it out. Crime scene, dude. <laughs> what 
What the hell happened here? All right, so off the get-go, it doesn't look like too much damage to the front. I want to see if we did any better to the rear. Okay, looks like, look at the rear of the dummy, all the exit wounds. I think that looks a lot better. I don't think I got Justin's skills, man. He eviscerated that first dummy like it was easy. How'd you make it look so easy, man? I'll just point and aim. The gun does the rest. <laughs> <laughs> I got you a present. Oh, nice. Ooh. You're welcome. The Buffalo Bill style. I think you might have to do it. We can get him with one shot. I'm losing him. I'm losing him. Oh, shit. I'm losing him. So the thing about the minigun is that I know very little about it except the fact that it would essentially melt you if it, you're on the receiving end. But my man, Justin here, he knows much more about it. Justin, would you mind filling us in a little bit on your background about the minigun as well as your experience using it in the military? Absolutely. Um, so I was a prior Task Force 160th guy. Mm -hmm. Uh, after that, I did some government contracting and then uh, I came over to Dillon Arrow, which is the manufacturer of the M134. So I have uh, a little over a decade of experience with the gun. So originally this guy was an artillery piece and it works off of the Gatling gun principle. Uh, everybody has heard of a Gatling gun and that's mm. what the M134 is. Did you know you can hear the ocean in this? No, never heard it before. Heard the ocean. No, I just hear uh, helicopters. Well, that's your 160 stuff coming into you. That's, yeah, okay. Now, there's something you mentioned earlier, and that was the, the single fire mode. What, what was the deal with that? I was talking earlier um, when we had the, the ballistic dummies out there that mm. I was single shot around into one of those dummies in its head. Um, the way that this works with the GCU is, is when you hold it down, the relay catches it, and, it mm. and that's what causes it to hold. So it's just all about a relay and that clutch. Yeah. Uh, when you start shooting the gun a lot, it's more of a gimmick but we show people that it can do it. It's not something that we would ever be like, yeah, you should just go one shot and use this as a sniper platform. But right. if you can click the trigger fast enough, you can fire one round through it and that's it. It's, uh, it's, it's tricky for people to see, but if we were running 100% tracer and we had one in four today, it would yeah. be a lot easier to see because you can yeah. watch your single tracer round run out, hit your target. Okay, well, here's my question now. I don't see this on the gun platform. Uh, where is the lever crank in case you turn the battery off so you can crank it like an old style Gatling gun? No lever crank on this one. Okay, next question. Do you guys have a plan to do the lever crank? No, I don't okay. think anybody would buy All a lever right. crank. That's that's taking us back. I mean, well, you go, motor runs out, you get EMP'd, you do a little Tom Cruise and Last Samurai. Okay, so I will say, man, there was definitely a real treat watching you guys, like uh, the crew of guys, just being able to work on the minigun, how you load it up, how you, it's like a weird magic to me, because I have no idea, right, going into it. Arrow's a pretty tight-knit um, company, so mm -hmm. most of the guys have either worked here for a decade with each other, and if we didn't know each other before we were working here, we knew somebody that knew that person. Yeah. So uh, that makes it a, a pretty tight company and uh, easy to work at and everybody understands and knows what they're supposed to do and, and gets it done without any even communication. You guys don't need this one, right? I can just take this home? Uh, no, 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 that wouldn't be good to put on YouTube. I think I'll take it home with me. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay, all right, you got me. You got me, all right. Gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Your comments are sacrifice the algorithm God, a God of what you enjoys, the fastest shooting guns known to mankind. You guys working on a rail gun yet? Not yet. We have some pretty interesting things coming up in the future, though. Okay, all right. So I guess they're working on taking on the aliens that are going to invade our planet in the near future. But that's pretty much it, gentlemen. As always, I'll catch you on the flip. But to get on with... We're going to end up on a crime documentary show.